ISA-1 Digital, the classic Focusrite Mic Pre and simultaneous DI. Now with class-leading stereo ADC as standard. Hello, this is Sign on Sound. I'm uh, standing here with Tim Spencer from True Systems, who's just going to talk us through his new um, preamp for the API 500 series um, rack. Um, Tim, yes. what's it about? This is uh, a new product that we have. It's similar to in topology to our original des designs, um, but it has some new technology. Yep. And so it's, it's different from the from the P solo. It's different from the P solo and different from the Precision 8 and P2 analog. Uh, topologically similar in that it's totally balanced, but some new technology devices, uh, which um, yes, sometimes it can sound better to do that. Yep. Vintage isn't always better. Um, sonically, it's. Still very ultra resolution, high detail, um, but it has more analog depth and warmth. It's just bigger sounding um, without losing detail and transient response and all those characteristics that have made our preamps applicable for many different kinds of applications. Oh, okay, okay. So you've, you've so. designed it with a different purpose in mind. Right. It's uh, hopefully uh, uh, going to stand out in the 500 uh, series crowd a bit because it's a precision mic preamp. It's not focused towards uh, certain color or vintage uh, interests. Okay, so it's a more neutral sound. More than neutral sounding, very musical, very right. transparent. Uh, from a technical standpoint, um, it has a dual gain range selection. Yep. Um, in the low gain, it, uh, low gain range, it goes from um, uh, 6 to 58 dB. Yep. Um, in the high gain range, uh, it goes from 18 to 70. Okay. 70 um, dB. Right. Max. And one of the new technology uh, benefits is it's a rail-to-rail -rail design, so it uh, can handle up to plus 22 dBU at the input with no pad. Uh, and it can deliver up to plus 29 dBU at the output. No transformers, it's electronically balanced. Um, and it's uh, a friendly current consumer. It uses 65 milliamps, which can be an issue in 500 series racks. Yes. So, yeah. um, some other fairly typical features, uh, polarity reverse, high pass filter at 80 hertz, phantom power. Uh, it has a newer version of our uh, FET DI, uh, wider uh, input range. Uh, but it also has a, a simple but useful feature on the through jack. Uh, you can plug the instrument into the in, yep. whether it's a magnetic pickup, a piezo, or even a, a, a synthesizer, whatever you want you want to use. Um, and the through jack can be routed out to an amp. Uh, so, so, so you can play through an amp. So while it's you're a real DI device. in that sense, yes. right? The FET DI is a two and a half mega ohm input impedance. And so you're not working with some high level uh, that you wind up usually having to use with a module or using the line level output from the DI. So we can uh, create a clean track um, through, the, through the PT2500 and we can put another mic on the cabinet um, or we can run this jack to another 500 module for effects or different DI. For, for parallel processing. Right, yes. so you get multiple tracks uh, more easily, just a uh, helpful interconnection. Excellent. And, uh, and when, is, uh, when is this available? Uh, it's available now. We've, available we started shipping a few weeks ago, so the product is in the pipeline. And, uh, and what kind of price range would it be? Well, in US dollars, it's 695 So okay. for the Sonic performance, it's a very high value product. Okay, nice one. Thank you very much, Tim. Thanks, Chris.